Mohammed Hassan has 200 pomegranate trees in his 6,000 meter square orchard. His family has been growing pomegranates for decades in the village of Basuta in rural Afrin. We inherited this work from our great-grandparents. This orchard has been here for 80 years now. Our village, Basuta, is famous here in Afrin. Our village was the first to plant pomegranates and start making molasses. We have more experience than others in the region. Our fruits are better and bigger, and we can sell them for a higher price. He says life and work have improved for himself and other farmers in the region after the YPG terror group was cleared from Afrin during Operation Olive Branch in 2018. The YPG used to extort us. It depended on how good the crop was. If you sold $50,000 worth of pomegranates, they took $5,000. If you sold a million dollars worth, they took 100000 But now nobody bothers us and nobody is forcing us to pay them anything. More than one million kilos of pomegranates are produced annually in this region of Afrin alone. This orchard creates dozens of jobs for local and displaced Syrians. Once the fruit is picked, it's processed and made into molasses using methods they've been using here in Afrin for generations. Fatima Hassan has been working with pomegranates her whole life. The pomegranate has a lot of health benefits, and the molasses is used to treat some illnesses. Not everyone can do this work. The guy who is pressing on the seeds needs to know how to do it properly, so all the juice comes out and the seeds aren't destroyed. It's very hard work. The molasses-making process not only creates income for Fatima and her family, but also much-needed jobs for displaced Syrians. This work provides jobs for a lot of people, especially those who have been displaced. Most of the workers here can't afford bread for their homes if they don't work. Mohammed hopes the skills he inherited from his ancestors will help him export his molasses to international markets. We want the roads to open and grow our work. Everyone will benefit that way. Here we can sell a kilo for a little more than two dollars. But if they go to Europe or Lebanon, we can sell them for $5 a kilo. We hope the roads will open soon so we can sell products outside. Now that Afrin has been clear of terrorists for more than three years, Mohammed is confident that his family's pomegranate legacy will continue to provide for future generations. Obaidahito, TRT World, Afrin, Syria.